Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Forge Hub YouTube channel. This is Paints, and today I'm here with a recap of the Forge news we just received from the Ghosts of Meridian livestream. Now the update drops tomorrow, April 6th, and keep in mind the patch notes tomorrow may give us a bit more info on what's been changed in Forge exactly. And I'm sure we'll have tutorials regarding the new pieces and effects. For now, however, this update gives us Forge fans new pieces and effects to make use of while creating our maps. In the effects category, Forgers have access to added weather effects including rain, embers, and flying newspapers, which also reacts to wind override and can also be sized accordingly. Among the new pieces available in Forge, we've been blessed with new foliage pieces including these new vines and ivy pieces created for use on walls as well as new tree pieces and shrub pieces for our flooring. This eliminates the need to rotate our previous tree pieces which resulted in using a lot of performance budget to create your desired foliage effect. To add to the ease of use in the foliage category, we've received new grass patches to aid in creating overgrowth effects and added detail and variation in grassy areas. Perhaps the best part about the new foliage is the inclusion of the option between choosing regular or snow covered pieces. This gives forgers more freedom when creating snowy themes without having to sacrifice a lack of atmosphere. Along with the Ghosts of Meridian update, we've received new sounds available in Forge including added nature sounds, audience sounds, water sounds, and additional horror sounds. We now have vehicle blockers, and I really can't wait to see what the minigame and Forge community in general will do with that option. And finally, at the end of the stream, we saw a teaser for what 343 is working on for our next update. I'll leave you guys with that. Thanks for watching. This has been Paints with the Forge Hub YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time.